What is going on, everybody? Silver Scrounger here. And today, I got a bunch of stuff to show you. So I'm going to try to get through it as fast as I can, but still be able to show you what I got. So, what I did was, I've gotten some stuff from uh, a few different places. Uh, some from auctions, like on Premier Live Coin Auction. It's a group on Facebook. Uh, got a bunch of stuff from them. And I also got some stuff from uh, the local coin shop. So, we're going to get into all this and see what we got. But first, it has been a long time since I've done a video. And... It's just been, it's been crazy for me, honestly. I am truly working two different jobs. Uh, my initial, or my, my full-time job of being a welder, and then I'm also uh, doing part-time work at the coin shop. And then trying to do this and do the uh, coin dealing on the side as well. It just gets really crazy and, and hard for me to be able to get some quality content put out. So I apologize for not getting stuff out you know, faster or, or anything really in the last few weeks, I think. Not to mention, this last weekend was my 19th anniversary with my wife. So, took the weekend off and, and went and had some, some good time with her uh, staying in uh, San Antonio on the Riverwalk. So, it was a nice time. But anyway, let's get back to why I'm here. <laughs> so, let me see. Oh, man, where do I want to start? Um, how about this? I've got my, my goals for this year. I've got the, uh, one ounce of silver from my personal stack every week. So I got to get at least one ounce. And this week I did get it. In fact, it's right in here. It's right there. I got a full tube of BU, uh, Roosevelt Dimes. So that is $5 space, which is more than enough to be one ounce of silver. Because when it comes to junk silver, you only need $1.40 to equal one ounce of silver. So five bucks, got it. <laughs> so I got that. I've been doing really good with that one. The other challenges I have is uh, the Peace Dollar Squeeze that I'm doing along with uh, Spectacular. It has got the whole Peace Dollar Squeeze thing going, and I've uh, picked up on that. It's a long story of what in the world is going on, because I, I was ready to get into his gold challenge that he does every year, it seemed. And then all of a sudden, he changed it up, and now it's a Peace Dollar Squeeze challenge for the year. But I'm picking up with it with him. Uh, been doing it all year long. Got to get at least one better grade, better quality, whatever you want to call it better condition peace dollar every month at least one and it's meant to be held and kept in the collection not for resale and everything else so from my local coin shop let's see if i can get us zoomed in here get this light into a better position too man there we go i got three different ones from my local coin shop Nice 1924 here. Then a 1925. I got two of them actually. Only because, man, they, they were both just beautiful coins. Got that one and then this one here. That's a stunner. So I got those. I didn't have any 1924 or 25 raw peace dollars in my uh, collection yet, so I was glad to get those. Then from uh, Adam with a Premier Live Coin Auctions on Facebook, I got a couple of nice peace dollars. I need to get these flipped up, but they're in pretty decent condition. Not quite as nice as the other ones, but still pretty nice. 1922, see there's like a odd scratch that comes all the way around here. 
and maybe some cleaning marks or something. I don't know. Anyway, got that one. And then this one here, another 1922. Probably AU. So, not bad. Those came in a whole bunch of uh, silver dollars I bought at one price. I'm not even going to show all these. I'm just going to sh show. These are all Morgan dollars. Most of them are uh, pre-21s, except for two or three of them. But they're in AU, XF range. Uh, very common date, so nothing spectacular to show there. So there's that. The Peace Dollar squeeze for the month of September. I got those. Then there's uh, my gold challenge that I'm doing on my own, which is get at least one dos peso Mexican gold coin every month. And I've been doing really good with that so far. But this month I ended up getting three dos pesos. So they're pretty nice. They're all 1945 restrikes, but they're all 90% gold, one and a half grams of uh, gold weight in each one of them, which is just about uh, one twentieth of an ounce, basically, in each one. So I got those three. So that is my September gold. Now where I'm at on that, let me get these slid into my little pockets here. I believe, if I am right, I am a, I am at at least one ounce of gold, cause. Look at this. This is all the gold I have in my personal stack. Two one-tenth ounce eagles, a twentieth ounce gold maple, and then all of those and these three are all uh, dos pesos. One row of dos and medios, two and a halves, and then I got one cinco peso, one five peso. And I'm pretty sure all the gold weight added together will be above one full ounce of gold. So, finally, I think this is the first time ever I've had one full ounce of gold in my own personal stack. I've always been more of a silver stacker, but I've been doing that challenge to get my own gold stack built up. So there we go. I'm glad to uh, be there, but I'm not done yet. It's not the end of the year. <laughs> so I'm going to be getting more of those. Um, as far as everything else you see out here, I've been doing a lot of other stuff, a lot of new things, a lot of uh, uh, crazy, I guess. I, I've jumped blindfolded headfirst into paper money, and I'm hoping that it's going to pay off. <laughs> but I've gotten a bunch of uh, $1 gold, or not gold, $1 silver certificates. These are just three of them. They're in decent shape, not too bad. Couple of couple of bucks here and there for them, but these ones here, I got. They're in really nice condition. Kind of off centered here when they uh, cut the sheets. All of them are. They're all the same. But here's the thing. The uh, serial numbers they're all sequential. I've got five of them that are in a row. Nine nine five nine nine six. Let's see here, 997, 998, and 999. So that's pretty cool. Got five in a row. They're real nice and crisp. Beautiful silver certificates. These are uh, 1935 H, so that's pretty cool. So I picked those up. Now, these are all the, the little bit better ones. Nothing crazy on this sheet here just some uh red seal two dollar notes from uh, 1953 1963 got a 1935 five dollar silver certificate and a 1934 ten dollar federal reserve note they're not in bad shape but they're not really that valuable either so kind of cool stuff now these get a little bit better. They're uh, older. 19, where is he? What was the date? 1928. All three of these are 1928 G series. All red seal notes. 
in pretty decent condition. This is probably the worst one of them all. You can see uh, vertical folds in them. And yeah, that's about it really. Some staining or something right there. But other than that, it looks pretty good. These two are a lot better. The only problem is that one's got some writing on it. It looks like it's pencil, but I don't want to take an eraser to it and try to get rid of them. This one looks like it's been folded in half, but it had a like a triangle fold here. But anyway, so those are cool. Now the last three I've got are crazy ones here. A $20... 1914 it just sucks it looks like it's maybe some red terracotta paint or something I don't know but some sort of coloring on there that's just not right see it right there on the front but uh there's no tears no holes I can see in it other than you know the edges here a little bit there but there's no holes in, in here where the folds are. Uh, maybe some staining right there. But with it being, what, 109 years old, that's a pretty good note. <laughs> then we got one that's not quite so nice. A 1923 horse blanket, $1 silver certificate. This thing is pretty rough. That thing is rough rough you can see it's got holes in it here and over here i think but uh helps them holding it upside down but yeah there's a there's a little bit of holding or holes in the fold here but for the price i mean i couldn't i couldn't pass it up i'm going to auction it off this friday and see what happens then i got another one that is pretty com or pretty uh popular a one dollar black eagle from 1899 that is not the price of it do not even think that because this is a uh, a little bit of a worn out one here so you can tell it was folded in half and then in half again and this is the side that was uh exposed to everything because it's just that little spot is all dirty more than more so than the rest of it but it's got some tears in it and in uh, holes and everything and uh still it's a nice note nice very cheap entry note basically to uh to paper money um yeah so that's all the all the paper money i've got let me get that all out of the way so i can get on to the next thing man these things are gorgeous i absolutely love the swiss francs the silver versions of course being the silver scrounger but man look at that one that is just amazing that's crazy look at that and of course wife comes in and leaves the door open so now i can hear everything they're saying hopefully it's not coming across the camera <laughs> but there's that one and then you got two francs here that's another gorgeous one 1967 and a 65 and a 64. Both beautiful pieces. So, of course, I love these a lot. I've, I've got a whole uh, collection of these alone. Picked up a couple of 40 percenters also. 1968 S. Yes, it's a proof. Pretty cool. 1976 S. That's a bicentennial 40 percenter there. That's the only year that they did 40 percent silver after uh, 1970. Is that one year, and, it, and they usually all came in the sets of the uh, the one dollar Ike, the 50 percent or the 50 cent piece, and the quarter. So, yeah, I was glad to get those. Uh, a seated. Half dollar here. It's got some damage. You can tell right there. But yeah, 19 or 1861 seated half. It's got all kinds of damage on it. But I got it for for a, a cheap price. So why not? And another barber. 
Um, there we go. 1915S. Not too bad. So yeah, I got these, uh, all these barbers also. Not gonna go through them all, just do a quick show. Got a bunch of barber halves here. All at decent prices. So, none of these go for your standard junk silver price. So I'll be, uh, I'll be running those in an auction on Friday as well. Along with these uh, barber quarters. I mean, they're nothing crazy. Normal, good to very good conditions. Maybe a slight bit better on one or two of them. But, uh, man, these are cool. The Russian uh, 10 uh, ruples. But they're the uh, they're, uh, Olympic uh, commemorative coins. They're 90% silver, and they actually come out to be one ounce of silver. The weight of them is 33.3 grams at 90%. So that's pretty cool. Then of course I had to get I had to get this. These are cool. Just some snowman uh, rounds. They look really cool. I don't know which way is which here. Um, what else? Man, this thing is crazy toned. I'm pretty sure it's artificial. But it has got a lot of blue and purple in there. So, grab that for regular junk price. This one right here is one of the crazy ones I got. Freaking Batman. What was it? 1987. It was like one of the first ones they ever did. That is really cool. Cartoon celebrities. I looked this one up. It comps real high. I mean, they sell like crazy. Then I got a bunch of uh, trade units, uh, silver trade units. Let's see here. Yeah, I got these three here. They all have the same reverse, but. One has got the uh, buffalo there. It's the American Centennial Celebration, 1883 to 1983. I don't know where in the world that comes from, but uh, how that 1883, I don't know. Hmm. And then we got another one, Liberty Centennial Celebration, 1986. 1886 to 1986. So, these are pretty vintage. And then the last one I got is old sail ship here. Hold on. There we go. Really nice. This one's got a lot of, like, golden toning to it. So, it's really cool. And then, of course, I got another one with a ship on it. Honest value never fails. 1973 USS Constitution. Look at that. Let's get it turned right side up. Constitution Mint. Nice. And it's got some nice color to it also. Um, then I also got five grams of gold I'm going to be uh, auctioning off. I got all kinds of stuff. I've been away way too long. And it's, this is going to be a long video just showing. These right here. Man. These are really cool looking poured bars. Germania. One ounce. Little poured bars. Look at that. So those are cool. Then I got a couple other things. I got a little half ounce here. Nothing crazy. Declaration of Independence. Then just a uh, another one ounce round. What does that say? Parliament. Hmm. So yeah, that's everything I've I've got recently. Oh no, look at that. All these too. All these 
you will hardly ever see steel scents like this. Look at that. I got a bunch of them. Those are not the prices at all. They were a lot cheaper than that. I don't know where those prices came from. <laughs> but yeah, these are all steel scents. All 1943. All of them are not replated. They are the original luster, beautiful looking steel scents. So, glad I picked these up. These are always a, a hit for uh, for people. Look at that luster. And one more. So yeah, that's everything I got. Um, I'm excited to get to my uh, live sale and auction on Friday in a Facebook group called uh, Willie's Precious Metals Group. If you haven't joined there, then uh, please do go over there and join. Um, I'll be live Friday evening. It's going to be a great time. A lot of what you see here, along with the uh, the paper money I showed, will all be up for sale and or auction. I'll have some other stuff as well. I'll have some, some uh, silver bullion. I'll, I might have some gold other than this one piece I have. We'll see what happens. Um, some graded coins. Uh, all kinds of stuff. So, uh, junk silver, all kinds of crazy stuff. So, hopefully you guys will be able to join me. And uh, I'm going to get out of here. It is way too late. I stayed up way too late doing this. And need to get to bed because work comes real early in the morning. So, till next time. Hopefully it won't be so long. Till the next one. This is Silver Scrounger saying thanks for watching. And keep on stacking or collecting.